established by the Vietnamese government on the 9th of September 1975. The museum was originally called the House for Displaying War Crimes of American Imperialism and the Puppet Government. Then in 1990, it was renamed to the Museum of American War Crimes. And then not until the 4th of July, 1995, did people start to refer to it as the War Remnants Museum. ever visit the place and come away feeling like there's a weight in your chest? Visiting the War Remnants Museum felt like that for me. Walking the museum invoked a sensation quite unlike anything I have experienced. Usually, museums are open and free, rooms full of beautiful art and stories of the world that inspire our hope and civilization. But this museum did the opposite effect. I was horrified. I was scared. I am deeply saddened. The War Remnants Museum of Ho Chi Minh illustrates the brutality and pain that the Vietnamese had gone through during the Vietnam War. Primarily, it exhibits the weapons used, press released photos, and paintings that can help visitors draw a picture of what had transpired during these days. War Remnants Museum is the place to learn about atrocities of war and war crimes during the Vietnam War and the place to honor people who sacrificed for the freedom of Vietnam and enlightenment of the truth. It is also a reminder of the invaluable peace many have exchanged their lives to earn and protect. The Vietnam War was the second longest war in the United States history after the war in Afghanistan. The period that the Americans refer to as the Vietnam War and the Vietnamese call the American War was a U.S. military intervention from 1965 to 1973. The Vietnam War is a black hole in U.S. history that Americans do not want to revisit. It has been more than 40 years since the war against the Americans came to an end and the remaining traces of the war are gradually fading to the relentless socio-economic development. However, the pain is still there. For the younger generation today, what has happened in the past is now just stories. But for many people who have once experienced war, the painful memories still exist. The War Remnants Museum offers half a million visitors each year a narrative of what Vietnamese people have experienced in the years that they fought for their freedom.
it is not easy to come up with exact war casualty figures perfectly in a long guerrilla war like Vietnam. Since the end of the war in 1975, there are a number of estimates of its casualties drawn up. Not until 1995 did Vietnam release its official estimate of war dead, as many as 2 million civilians on both sides and some 1.1 million North Vietnamese and Viet Cong fighters. One out of every 10 Americans who served in Vietnam was a casualty. 58,148 were killed and 304,000 wounded out of 2.7 million who served. It must be admitted to the war has its good side. It spurs men to heroism and self-sacrifice. War is obviously an escape from the lethargy of peace. There is no doubt that war is an evil one. It is the greatest catastrophe that can befall human beings. On the whole, war has always been the greatest blot on humanity. It was created by man himself, but now it is beyond the control of all human forces. Now it requires retrospection for the whole of a human race to think over it for the sake of humanity. Otherwise, nothing will remain, neither war nor humanity. Mm -hmm.